five things in life, five things in life that never come back. Number one is a lost opportunity. Guys, a lot of times people miss a lot of opportunities and they think, yeah, more opportunities will come. Yes, more opportunities will come, but the same opportunities will never come. So in your life, in your career, when you keep losing opportunities, they are never coming back, number one. Number two, what's not coming back is a dead person. When you lose somebody, they are gone. There is no point telling them how much you love them, how much you wanted to do something for them, how much you wanted to take them on a travel. They're gone. So understand that. By the way, this is called practical thinking, not positive thinking, but practical thinking. Very important for you. The value I got from this program is 100 times, 100x. And even if I, even I paid, even if I could pay 100 times more, I would be satisfied. The third thing that never comes back is your spoken words. When you say something to somebody, no matter how many times you say sorry, how many times you say that you don't mean this, you, you can't take it back. It's, it's said already. So it's already in the mind of the other person. All right. The fourth thing you never take back um, is a fired bullet. When you shoot, you shoot. You're, you can't take back. And the fifth thing that you can never take back is a, is a wasted moment and a wasted life. You know, so often people, I see people wasting their entire lifetime. They're just wasting, they're wasting, they're wasting, and they think, I'll do it later, and wait, before you know, you know, you're 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, and then one day, you're in a hospital bed, looking outside the window, thinking, I wanted to travel, I wanted to go to different places, I wanted to, you know, live my life my way, I wanted to say many things, I wanted to mean, I wanted my voice to matter, I wanted to take courageous action, but, you don't have the time, you have wasted time. You know, Gautam Buddha was right when he said, the problem with human beings is human beings think that they have a lot of time. You don't have a lot of time. So instead of wasting your life, wasting your opportunity in life, what I want you to do is I want you to take a good look at yourself and think about it. You know, are you, what are you, what career opportunities or any life opportunities, friendship opportunities, social opportunities are you missing right now, right? Who are the people that you'll regret once they are dead if you are not sharing your heart out to them? What are the words that you are saying right now that later on you will regret? What are the fired bullet? Maybe you're, you don't fire bullet. That's, that's, that's an exception here. But the fifth is, are you wasting your time? Guys, stop doing this. This is your time to thrive, not just survive. And radical change can happen for your life when you start taking action. You know, nothing happens automatically. The only thing that happens automatically is changing of your age. And just by changing of the age, you're not being more successful, you're not being more mature. For most people, a lot of people I see, they're the same person they were five years ago. Time passes really fast, doesn't it? So it's time for you to stop wasting time, take charge of your time, and change everything. If you want some help, reach out to us. Michal Sarkar here reminding you that public speaking is not about perfection. It's all about connection. See you soon. Next. Rajesh, let's hear from you. Yeah, now Anand, I'll come to you. No worries. And then let's, the three routes we're going to talk about. I, I think uh, the one I probably feel uh, very happy about is that in the last few days that uh, the acceptance letter for two of my papers came through. Um, uh, in, in our company, there is one paper, one technical conference where everybody, you know, many technical people put in and, you know, maybe... It's actually a prestige if you can get even one paper accepted. So this year, two of them, and I was, uh, no, I was really, really very happy about that. That I think is the biggest thing. Nice. Congratulations, Rajesh. Congratulations. Good stuff. Good stuff. Awesome. Subish, what was your biggest experience? Yeah, so uh, I made a family tree, basically. So, you know, family tree was planning for a long time to make a family tree with uh, my wife's parents and my parents, like you know, till the children. So through wooden pieces we are made. So I just engraved it and made some design on it. And then just now, just now only I pasted it behind. So my daughter was seeing and she was quite amazed with that. Wow, that's really nice. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for sharing with us. Anything else you wanted to say? So uh, yeah, I mean few wins. Like uh, apart from that, I got like two speaking engagements like in the sense that uh, the company has approached me so now Wait, I no, hold on hold on two, two speaking engagements yeah in the sense that company has approached me so they told me to uh, prepare a, a kind of a, a presentation 
and uh, basic in terms of productivity uh, uh, nice so yeah so that is it uh, and uh, yeah so that was a good win for me as well good job so contouring the family front and the career front that's rocking thank you for doing this